Good morning, everyone. Please stand. We begin in the, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Our brother, Hank Morris, was washed in the waters of baptism. We remember this great grace with this water. He was clothed in his white garment, and now we clothe his body with this white garment. He was signed with the cross of Christ, and now we mark him with the cross of Christ. And we begin our Mass in song. Let us pray.
O God, who are mercy for sinners and the happiness of your saints, give, we pray, to your servant Henry, for whom today we perform the fraternal offices of burial, a share with your chosen ones in the blessedness you give, so that on the day of resurrection, freed from the bonds of mortality, he may come before your face. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for our reading. A reading from the book of the Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything and a time for every affair under the heavens. A time to give birth and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot the plant. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to be far from embraces, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a <clears throat> time to sow, a time to be silent, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. God has made everything appropriate to its time. The word of the Lord. Amen. Thanks be to God. I 
guide, your rod and your staff, my comfort and my hope. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Have set me a banquet of love in the face of hatred, crowning me with love beyond my power to hold. Shepherd be O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Surely your kindness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of my God forevermore. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We hold this treasure in earthen vessels, that the surpassing power may be of God and not from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not constrained, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying about in the body the dying of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our body. For we who live are constantly being given up to the death for the sake of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may be manifested in our mortal flesh. Therefore, we are not discouraged. Rather, although our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this momentary light affliction is producing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. As we look not to what is seen, but to what is unseen, for what is seen is transitory, but what is unseen is eternal. The word of the Lord. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory, glory to you lord. lord may the word of god be always on our minds our lips and forever in our hearts jesus said to his disciples do not let your hearts be troubled you have faith in god have faith also in me in my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, 
so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, how beautiful to have so many people gathered here to honor Hank. And of course, we come here today grieving for Hank. And all of us think here especially of his beloved family, his family gathered here, some of his family who weren't able to be here with us today but are joining us through the live stream. And our deepest condolences to all of them. But so many of you here today have so many wonderful memories of Hank. And many of you were sharing those memories over the last few weeks. Many of you were sharing those memories at the visitation last night and just before we began Mass here today as well. And I heard memories of Hank's time at the zoo from so many of his co-workers who are here for whom he was, you know, not just a, a fellow staff member, but a friend and a mentor and an example and an inspiration. Such beautiful stories and beautiful memories. And I heard memories of people who were uh, faithful zoo goers, <laughs> of the ways that he was a joy to them. I've heard memories from his fellow, uh, his fellow parishioners here at Corpus Christi, especially of uh, people who were in the choir with him. I've heard memories from people who were in theater with him. And one after another, I heard memories just of, of beautiful ways that Hank was there for so many of you when you needed him, of ways that Hank brought joy into your lives. I heard plenty of funny stories. I heard stories of adventures. So many beautiful memories of ways that Hank touched your lives and the lives of so many people who couldn't even be here today, people who didn't even know his name, many of them but nevertheless was a joy and a light to so many people. And we're grieving today that Hank won't be with us in those particular ways anymore. And we're grieving that we won't get to make more of those beautiful memories with him. And it's right that we should grieve for those things. You know, I heard again and again higher and higher praise of Hank Morris um, as I just talked to people at the visitation in particular last night, but also the week or so before. People kept uh, telling me what a great man he was and is and, and kept sort of raising the stakes. I think I heard from one person at the visitation that he was, uh, he was the example of everything you could want in a man and he could sing is what somebody said, <laughs> which I thought was just beautiful and kind of said it all. That he was so many things to so many people. And Hank Morris, the example of everything you could want in a man in many ways, a man who loved so many people, who brought light to so many people, nevertheless needed to be saved and needed a savior. And having come now to death, continues to need a savior. And because he has a savior, we can be full of hope for Hank Morris. We come here today in great hope, full of hope for immortality for Hank. As we read in this second letter, we are not discouraged because Hank Morris was always carrying about in the body 
the dying of Jesus, that great grace, that salvation of Jesus. In his baptism as a young child, Hank was united to Jesus Christ. In all of those good memories you all shared over this last week, in all of those ways that he was there for you, in all of those memories of his love for so many of you, of the good that he did for so many of you, in all of those things, Hank was united to Jesus Christ. In the sacraments that he received, including here at our parish, over so many years, in particular in the sacrament of marriage, that he lived so faithfully and well, Hank over time became more and more united to Jesus Christ. In all the sufferings that are a part of life, all of our lives, even every day, and in particular, you know, in his final illness and the great suffering that came with that, Hank was united to Jesus Christ in his cross and in his passion. And now Hank has been united to Jesus Christ in his death, in a death like his. But since Hank has been given up to death for the sake of Jesus, so we are full of confidence that the life of Jesus will be manifested in his mortal flesh. We who believe that Christ is risen are full of hope that Hank remains united to Jesus Christ, who is the way and the truth and the life. So indeed we are grieving today because in some ways death has separated us from Hank for now. In this life we will not see him again. But we are also full of hope because our Lord has promised us through the words of St. Paul that neither death nor life nor any other power will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Death has not separated us from the, from the love of God. Death has not separated Hank from the love of God. And in Christ, death has not separated us from Hank either. We are not separated from Hank. On the contrary, we are joined to him in the very source of life itself, in the love of God. We are joined to him in the sacraments, that expression of the love of God. We're joined to him by our prayers for him in Christ, like the prayers we offer for him right here today, and the prayers I know so many of you will continue to offer for him. So we miss Hank, and we grieve that we won't get to make more memories with him. But we who live in Christ are not separated from Hank. In our prayers for him and in the sacraments, we live with him still right now even as we live with all the saints in heaven and all those who have died in Christ. So we grieve today, and rightly so, but we are full of hope for Hank in Christ Jesus, who is our Lord and his. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord, we join our prayers to his. Our response will be, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In baptism, Hank received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead him over the waters of death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. <coughs> we pray especially for Henry Jefferson Morris, Hank's father, 
and Jake Russell Burns, whose beloved grandson who will be buried with him today. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. We pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who trusted in the Lord, who now sleep in the Lord, give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in your mercy, mercy, hear our prayer. The family and friends of Hank and Jake seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that comes from grief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in your mercy, mercy, hear our prayer. God, you created the world and through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, redeem the world. Give peace and healing to the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our brother Hank. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. We pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers we offer you today. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Healing river of the Spirit, bathe the wounds that living brings. Plunge our pain, our sin, our sadness, deep beneath your sacred springs. Weary from the restless searching that has lured us from your side. We discover in your presence peace the world cannot provide. Well springs of the healing spirit, stream that flows to bring release. As we gain ourselves our senses, may our lives reflect your peace. Grateful for the flood that heals us, may your church enact your grace. As we meet both friend and stranger, may we see our Savior's face. Living stream that heals the nations, make us channels of your power. While the world is torn by conflict, wars are raging at this hour. Saving spirit, move among us, guide our winding human course. Till we find our way together, flowing homeward to our souls. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of all this holy church. Please rise. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Henry, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. 
in him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful, Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna Please kneel or be seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you 
so that we may obtain an inheritance we relate especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servants, Henry and Jake, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly bodies after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, where you, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's, please rise. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of 
of God you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. <coughs> Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let perpetual light shine upon him with your saints forever, for you are merciful. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him with your saints forever, for you are merciful. If uh, we will have communion now, and if you're not Catholic or if you aren't receiving communion today, please feel welcome to um, come forward and receive a blessing. Um, we are so pleased to have everyone here praying for Hank, joining us in honoring Hank. Um, so please, we'll form a line in the central, uh, in the central aisle. Oh, my. 
worship the Lord, all you people. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our brother Henry may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, what an honor it has been to be gathered here today, praying for and honoring Hank, grieving his loss, consoling his family. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brothers Jake and Hank, in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, they will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon them in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness, 
and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servants and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brothers forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace, let us take our brothers to their place of rest. song of love. 